Hi there, kids. I don't want to alarm you, but someone around here has been stealing. I left my ice cube outside on the back deck earlier, and when I went to check on it, it was gone. There is a mystery afoot, kids. But never fear, Glorgon is here. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what happened. Earlier today, I had an ice cube. I named him Alfredo. He was such a good ice cube. So strong. So brave. Anyway, I thought he might enjoy a little sunshine, so I left him outside on the back deck. I came inside and made myself a delicious meatball sub for lunch, and when I went back to check on Alfredo, he was gone. Somebody kidnapped him. Or, uh, I snapped him? Hmm? Anyway, the thief left behind a big puddle of water right where Alfredo was. I'm not sure why a thief would leave behind a puddle of water. Maybe he's like a water goblin or something. Uh? Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna go back to the scene of the crime and look for clues. I'll let you know what I find. Kids! Kids! Listen! Oh my goodness! Listen, listen, listen! Something crazy has happened. I went back to check on the crime scene and you'll never guess what I found. Nothing! I found nothing! The puddle of water was gone. The plot thickens. All I can think is that another thief must have come and stolen the puddle of water too. Or wait, maybe the water goblin returned to the scene of the crime to clean up the evidence. Hmm. I'm gonna need some help. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep. Ring, ring. Grandpa Big Head! Grandpa Big Head! It's an emergency! There's been a terrible crime! My ice cube was... What? Ugh, it's me, Glorgon! Listen! I had this ice cube named Alfredo, and I left him out in the sun because I thought he would like the sun, but then a water goblin came and stole him and left behind a big puddle of water, but then the water goblin came back and cleaned up the puddle of water, which was kind of him, but also really mean because he stole my beautiful Alfredo. I need your help to track down the water goblin and rescue poor Alfredo. What do you think I should do first? Should I call the police or organize a search party and check the woods? Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Nah, I don't think you can put rocks in the washing machine. Seems like a bad idea. All right, well, I gotta get going. I'll talk to you later, Grandpa Big Head. Bye. Click. Well, I sure am embarrassed. Grandpa Big Head explained to me that Water goblins aren't even real. He told me that Alfredo the Ice Cube must have melted into a puddle of water, and then the puddle of water evaporated into water vapor. Now, I didn't understand any of those words, so he had to explain a few things to me. Here, let me tell you about it. The first thing we need to know about is matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Rocks are matter. Trees are matter. Air and water are matter. Even people are matter. The second thing we need to know is that matter can be found in three different states. Liquid, solid, 
and gas. A liquid is something that takes the shape of whatever container it's placed in, and it can be poured from one container to another. Things like water, milk, and oil are all examples of liquids. A solid is something that has a fixed shape. You can't easily change its shape by squeezing it, and it certainly doesn't change its shape when you put it in a container. Rocks, ice, wood, and glass are all examples of solids. A gas is like a liquid because it takes the shape of whatever container it is in, but it can change shape and flow even easier than a liquid. In fact, it can flow so easily that it usually just sort of floats around. Mm. For example, air is a gas, and so is steam or water vapor. Like air, a lot of times gases are invisible. So we know that stuff is made up of matter. We know that matter can exist in three states, solid, liquid, or gas. Now, you might be asking, Glorgon, what does this have to do with Alfredo? Well, that's where this next piece of information comes in. Did you know that things can change which state of matter they are in? Yeah, and I didn't know that either. Things can change from solid to liquid to gas and back again. Very sneaky. Usually, these things happen because the matter has been heated up or cooled down. Let me walk you through it. If you have a solid and you heat it up, it turns into a liquid. This is called melting. If you have a liquid and you heat it up, it turns into a gas. This is called evaporation. And it goes the other way too. If you have a gas and you cool it down, it turns into a liquid. This is called condensation. And if you have a liquid and you cool it down, it turns into a solid. This is called freezing. So, what happened to Alfredo? Hmm. He was sitting out on the deck, a beautiful, brave ice cube. Now, an ice cube has a fixed shape, so we know it's a solid. I left him out in the sun, and the sun must have heated him up so much that he melted into a liquid. That's what that puddle of water was. Now, the puddle of water had been left out in the sun, and as it got even hotter, it must have evaporated into gas and just drifted away. So we had a solid that became a liquid, and then a gas, all because we added heat to it. Well, I mean, I didn't add the heat, the sun did. Blame the sun. So, I guess if we want Alfredo back, we'll have to somehow gather up all the water vapor that he turned into, cool it down until it condenses back into a liquid, and then we'll have to cool that liquid down until it freezes back into a solid. Hmm. I'm not even sure how we'd know which water vapor to gather. The good news is that, well, Alfredo didn't disappear or get stolen or get ice snapped. He just transformed. Now he's floating around in the air, exploring the world. Maybe he'll get to see Paris. He always wanted to see Paris. Ah! Anyway, we learned a whole lot today. We learned that matter is anything that takes up space and it can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, or gas. We learned that by heating up or cooling down matter, 
it can transform into a different state through melting, freezing, evaporation, and condensation. I've put a link in the description of this video to a quiz that can be printed and used to practice some of the things we've learned. Yay! I'm gonna go now and... I gotta think about all the good times I had with Alfredo. I miss you, buddy! Ah!